My name is Maria Kfalas, and I am the co-founder of CureMLD. I want to congratulate the scientists, researchers, doctors, and of course the amazing families who participated in the gene therapy clinical trial for helping us make this day possible. We now have EMA approval for a gene therapy to treat MLD. It is overwhelming to think about all the effort that has gone into making this day possible. We want to congratulate our friends and partners at Orchard Therapeutics for their determination and leadership to get an approved therapy for children with MLD. We are excited to see what the future holds. We are so proud that our disease and our community will be pioneers for these incredible breakthroughs in gene therapy that are going to absolutely reimagine the field of medicine and give hope where there was none. So again, to our friends at Orchard Therapeutics, congratulations. I am here in Milan, Italy. You can maybe see behind me the San Raffaele Hospital uh, where our 10-month-old Kira just got gene therapy treatment to hopefully cure her metachromatic leukodystrophy, MLD. Uh, our world was really shaken uh, at the height of the global pandemic in March 2020 when we found out that our middle daughter, Olivia, was diagnosed with MLD. Doctor's appointments were very hard to get. We even got a misdiagnosis by one of the best children's hospitals in our state. And three days later is when we first heard the words metachromatic leukodystrophy. Obviously our world was shaken. We were heartbroken and devastated and immediately knew we had to get our other two daughters tested. We were so bewildered by this diagnosis because we did genetic testing prior to having children. So in a little less than two months after finding out Kira's diagnosis, we're headed to Milan, Italy. Our family of five and my parents who are both retired so that they could help us because we not only had to have Kira go through the gene therapy treatment, which would take at least four to six weeks in isolation in the hospital, but we also had to continue Olivia's treatment, which is weekly, in her clinical trial. So that got moved from Iowa in the United States to Amsterdam in the Netherlands. So on top of Kira's treatment for gene therapy, we needed to get Olivia to Amsterdam each week to make sure that she could get these treatments that could potentially at least stall the progress of her disease. Um, because she's showing symptoms, she wasn't eligible for gene therapy, but because Kira hadn't yet shown symptoms, she was eligible. And the other children that have gone through this treatment are living perfectly normal lives now. They're walking, they're talking, they're running, they're going to school. Things that I would can't even imagine for Olivia. Um, and unfortunately, they may not be possible for Olivia, but the fact that they are for Kira warms our heart. And so many family members, friends, and even strangers will like help us get here. Um, I don't know where we would be without CuraMLD.com and the doctors and nurses and team here at San Rafael. Um, they've been absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm.